welcome back to the channel guys today is friday april 14th uh, last video <coughs> kind of ended off with the you know our york our fun time in york well it's the day after that what took should have took a day and a half or a big solid day took four days of just working with things but now that the salford the two now that the salford and the 270 are back i am going to salford our borough farm that farm was also shelled corn last year but it's on this side of the river and it's about 10 minutes or five to ten minutes away with the tractor that is so i'm gonna get ready to head out here this morning i'm not sure if this tractor needs def or mitch made it mitch might have refueled it and filled it up with def but we'll see Looking like I'm gonna need to refuel. Also, one thing, somewhat new, it's not really that big of a deal, I guess I should say, but my uh, uncle got another globe for uh, GPS. I guess you wanna call it globe, bubble. Uh, it's a newer style. I'm not sure what series that is, but it's newer. Uh, I'll have that for the planting tractor. And then we have another one over here, which we could put that on. They're interchangeable with our other tractors, but between this one here, we'll probably put on the one we use to spread chicken litter. So, yeah, now we have two. Then there's people out there that have GPS for every single tractor, but um, yeah. That's what it's for, GPS. Almost there. All right, we should be full. I'm gonna grab some death. Ah, yes, government juice. That's what some people like to call it. Gotta take the safety uh, pieces off here. Hopefully, they're loose enough. And then this pen just goes here. Also, do the same for the other side. I'm gonna do it with two hands so it goes quicker. I don't know why people don't realize that. Wow, that was a rough bump. I'm chomping away at the hillside here. Kind of took time down there. It's steep. Turning around, I almost had to do like a loop instead of turning around because you would out actually spin out. I'm pretty sure some of these weeds don't help. <clears throat> but my uncle will be planting in here. Well, plant the plant. It's probably get sprayed first. And there was a nice bump. You get sprayed first before you plant, but we're better. Have a, I don't know what type of weed that is. I should, I probably should know what type of weed that is.
Um, we're getting there. Last section of the big part, and then there's a little section of this field that I'll be able to quickly knock out, probably in 15 minutes or less. Good view up here, though. Got, there's these roads here at the hit. I didn't hit them yet because I've been turning around here and I don't want to do those rows and then just turn around on it and compact it. So, probably be another 25 minutes yet here at this farm and then I'll be done. All right, last pass of the large area. Then I can see the field over there. Um, a section of this field, I guess you could say or you can count it as a separate field. I don't really know. Either way, it's gotta get done. One last look at the river. Always think it's cool working on this farm, seeing the river. I gotta move this little stick out of the field. I think I might be able to do it. I'm gonna flip it in. I'm gonna need maybe two hands, but we'll see. This is either gonna go really well or really bad. Alright, mediocre. It's kind of difficult doing it with one hand, huh? Earlier when I was softening, I forgot to grab the GoPro. I saw like eight or ten turkeys together and they chilling out in the field and then they I slowly creeped up to them and then they decided to go into the woods so yeah all right just doing the headlands now this uh, a lot of turning around in this section but we're pretty much done we'll head back and I got some grass to mow I might as well slap that in the video it's a part of farming Jeopardy music for this or something. I'm gonna let it keep recording, make it awkward. Well, J-Rod got home from school and it was a pleasant surprise to see him pop up on the floor and take my place mowing. Uh, he'll be able to finish everything out for maybe 45 minutes. I want to get to it today if I have time. If not, it'll be Saturday. I want to pressure wash and scrub the 270. My dad's going to be going over it and putting it on the loader. So I want to get that done, but I got to make sure I get everything else I need to do today for the weekend. I know I have straw for the hutches, I should be good. I want to scrape the transition barn. Can't really think of anything else. There's one calf to bring out. So, the two, 300, my dad cleaned up when I was softening over in Burrow. He has it, well he did have it wide open there just to let it air out. He had trouble getting started, so he wanted to help dry things out in there. Pressure washing a skin loader like this is all but impossible get it perfect because there's so much stuff in there. I mean, just look. So many wires and hydraulic hoses, so, yeah. My dad said he wants to go over to Salford too. And, uh, oh yeah, my dad just pointed out Remember that turn signal I messed up on the 285? Well, he got a new turn signal for it. Or the, I should say, the uh, orange shell for the actual signal. And actually a whole new one because the bulb's broken. Good, good. It's after lunch here. Dad's working on the Southford and that's hooked to the 270, so pressure washing wasn't gonna happen. Plus, it was nice to have a little bit of a longer lunch. So I'm gonna get hutches, or put some straw in these hutches. I already have, or 
shavings. I already have straw in the hutches for the weekend, but I'm gonna put some shavings in the lower part. Um, then we'll scrape and get calves, and it'll be time to feed. We're awfully close to it anyhow. I guess it could be two things. If you guessed, take the calves out, you are right. I guess if I edit this, I could put it in any order I want. But no, this is this is this is the order that it, it's actually going. I'll scrape after I get calves. Calf, I should say. And I don't think I have to worry about telling her to keep her head and hooves inside at all times. Gonna lay down and enjoy the ride. Tell you what, though, the sun's cooking. One lazy calf moved in. She'll be up. They go through like a 12 to 24 hour time of laziness, it seems like here, and then they, then they're fine. Oops. Then they're up and at them. This is more lively. She's still grasping the new world. You ladies have a good weekend, all right? Can you do that for me? Please? Please? Wanna say anything to the camera? Oh wait, we have, we have someone that wants to say something. It's time to start feeding. Really random, but uh, I was watching one of the 10th Gen's videos and they, when they made, put their feed bin up. And I don't know why, I never really recorded the feed truck ever coming here and putting feed in that bin. I just, it's just like one of the things that dawned on me. I'm like, wow, I really do be slacking on this YouTube thing, don't. Tell you what, yesterday I got some serious sun because I pretty much mowed grass all day. And now the sun's shining and my arms, they're cooking. That actually looks pretty red on camera too. Yikes. But, all right ladies, who's hungry? Yeah? Tough crowd. Oh, youngest pen's not why is my dog uh, balancing for the GoPro so wonky. Looks hilarious, man. Anyway, guys, woo, it's Friday. The camera's reflecting what I'm actually seeing right now. That's a joke. Don't worry, guys. But anyway, weaning, weaning barn is fed. And uh, yeah, it's time for the young ones to get fed. <laughs> Got her all loaded up. We still need feed yet. Look at her squat. Maybe I'm thinking of a 47 You don't remember this one, do you?
semis. The milk feeder in his natural habitat. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's wrap it up and get into the weekend here and relax somewhat. But you know, cows still need to eat and calves still need to eat. You know, cattle still need to eat and cows still need to be milked. So dairy farmers, uh, you guys get what I'm trying to say. All right, see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. God bless. It's been a long day. The heat's getting to me.